person dies of a dementia, it's quite different from a person dying of cancer or heart disease or some other physical illness. And the reason it's different is because with a dementia, you lose the personhood that you've established as yourself, your memory, of course. So when somebody talks about uh, what you did yesterday, you sort of draw a blank. Or who's the president of the United States, you draw a blank. So it makes it very hard for people to interact with you. And then if you have behavioral changes as well, and you um, go to the refrigerator and put your pocketbook in it, or do strange things like expose yourself in inappropriate times, then people shy away from you. And uh, they ask you to leave the institution that you're in maybe. And so your death is, is is not you anymore. It's a different person that's dying. Not like in cancer. I mean, cancer is, involves a lot of suffering often, but it's still you. If you remember the movie Still Alice, her, uh, her, her family thought she was still Alice because occasionally she could say something that was like her old self. But meanwhile, she was getting lost. She was not remembering anything. She couldn't function. And eventually you stop functioning with the activities of daily living. You, you must have a caregiver just to be alive. But the person you were is not that person anymore. And there's a big body of literature that argues that when you make an advanced directive that says, when I reach the moderate stage of dementia where I can't like take care of myself or I can't recognize my loved ones, then I want you know no more um, life-sustaining treatment, that you're a different person at that time, even though you may be happy, you may be listening to nursery rhymes or whatever, you may be functioning on a much lower level. The argument is you're now a different person. You shouldn't be able to execute a directive when you're competent for when you're not competent. So you lose competence, you lose capacity to make important decisions. And most right to die laws say that you must have capacity. You must know what you're doing when you ask for help in dying. And often a demented person in the moderate severe stages uh, cannot. In the early stages, you can. And you still have capacity to say, uh, don't feed me, I don't want to drink. And if you still have enough capacity to say, I, I really mean it, when you're really hungry or thirsty to not take any food or hydration, then you could do it that way. Or if you have help from Final Exit Network and they teach you how to use, for example, the nitrogen tank, and you have the capacity to remember those directions and use it yourself, nobody can help you, then that would be a time to die. And it's unfortunate because there's some good quality of life left at that point. But that's what we're left with, being able to end our lives while we still have the capacity to do it.